Okay, here's something really cool, or should I say hot. We're trying to burn a hole through aluminum that's reinforced with ceramic fiber. The aluminum sheet is only 17 thousandths thick, or less than half a millimeter in thickness. And as you'll see in this video, we can't burn a hole through it with a blowtorch, a propane type blowtorch. Here it is. Oh my God, that looks like a <laughs> sun. See how bright red it is back here. Oh, sorry. See how bright red it is back here. That's cool. <laughs> I don't know, it's bright red, but it's not It's not melting through yet. If that was a piece of aluminum foil, that would have melted right through, right? Do you have any thin aluminum foil we can do the same experiment with? Yeah, we got some on the dad pool. I'll get some. Hold on. We'll leave there, there for a minute and just see if we can get the dog on thing to melt through, because right now it's not doing anything. I don't know. I thought it would happen by now. Beautiful hands, Bob. <laughs> You're a hand model. <laughs> Watch the stand there. there you go. Okay, so we have more than a minute now, and the flame has not yet burned through the fiber reinforced aluminum, showing that uh, it's very resistant to a propane torch flame, which is quite hot. I'm not exactly sure the temperature, but it's quite hot. And the aluminum is not melting through, and we will show shortly how aluminum foil melts through. Yeah, I'll let you get close to it. Okay. I'll go right back around this side. A lot more heat on this side. You know? It would have been fun to measure the temperature on both sides of this thing and see what happens. But uh, we're at two minutes now and I don't see anything happening at the two minute mark. So that's two minutes, nothing. I think we'll uh, shut it off, what do you think? And try aluminum foil. Do that next? Okay, shutting off. Flame on, a half a millimeter thick piece of aluminum sheet. Going to the back side. Look at that burn through. Okay, now this aluminum sheet is actually exactly a half millimeter thick or 20 thousandths of an inch thick. So it's thicker than the MMC reinforced aluminum, the fiber reinforced aluminum. Yet it burns through in about 20 seconds. Here you'll see it. Get together. I would just maybe just poke right through. I don't know. There you go. That was uh, 30 seconds, but it was really melted through in like 20. You were close to Okay, so in the video we showed ceramic fiber reinforced aluminum. The type of fiber we've used in the, in the video showing the flame was, um, again, a continuous ceramic fiber reinforcement. This material is quite a bit stiffer than just normal aluminum. We also tested discontinuous fiber aluminum, and this is discontinuous fiber aluminum. You can see it's a lot more flexible. I can bend it, it takes a shape. And this is after five minutes against the propane torch. So it's a half a millimeter thick. Five minutes propane torch. This was also exposed to a couple minutes with the propane torch. We didn't necessarily go for five minutes. It's quite a bit stiffer, um, but it does show that we can use different kinds of ceramic fiber and get very heat resistant properties. And again, with this material, I can readily bend it almost like a piece of aluminum foil. And again, this compares with just straight aluminum, where we use a piece of aluminum and it's you know 15 to 20 seconds and it burns a hole through it. I also want to point out that if you just use normal aluminum, this is a one and a half millimeter thick plate, quite a bit, quite a thick plate. This is three minutes, 21 seconds, and it melts a hole right through it. You can see how the, the just the plain aluminum melts through it. And again, this is a half a millimeter thick, half a millimeter thick material, very thin, but with the ceramic fiber reinforcement, it does not melt through the aluminum. So that's just a little more of an explanation of the, the, the very big difference you get when you put ceramic fibers are embedded in the aluminum metal.